Hi, I'm Tom Capizo. I'm a firefighter driver with the Detroit Fire Department. Running here at Squad 3. Um, been on the fire department for two and a half years and love every minute of it. It's, uh, it's, it's a great job. It's crazy, it's wild, it's exciting. Fires, medical runs, and car accidents, and you name it, we get it and we're busy. I'll show you what we use on the squad. These are all our tools that we use every day. Um, start over here. I'm the driver. This is where I keep my harness right here. Use three there and everything. We got all of our fire extinguishers right here for our different types of fires. Over here we keep our different various saws. We can use this saw right here for opening up a roof. This same saw do the same thing back here. We can open up a steel door, cut concrete with it if we have to. This compartment is pretty simple. It's just extra air. These are extra bottles for our harnesses. We can also use them to run several different tools for different against extrication. And then here is just oxygen bottles for all of our EMS stuff. These are the new bottles that we're running. They're MSA. These are what we use in our harnesses to breathe off of. They're 4,500 PSI. They're regulated by the NFPA and they should be uh, last about 30 minutes depending on how your breathing goes. These are what's most commonly referred to as the jaws of life. They're actually hydraulic spreaders. Uh, they're pretty heavy. These are what we use to get into a car, to stick this in, open this up so we can open up a door and get a passenger out who's pinned in from a car accident. It's called uh, shears or cutters. And these will uh, work off of this. Uh, hydraulic pump right here and these will basically cut anything you can put in its path any kind of steel or anything worked in conjunction with these do the same thing to open up a car uh, or, or even a steel door if we have to to get into a building all right this compartment here we keep a few other miscellaneous tools and then a big boy right here is our fan to uh, extract the smoke out of a dwelling uh, we use that for uh, vertical ventilation set it up at the door and push the smoke right through the house and get all the smoke out of there and get the heat off the guys when they're in there working inside. So here at the squad in the city of Detroit, we have a lot of responsibilities. We run on calls that go everything from medical runs, we go to car accidents, we go to hazmat situations, and uh, we go to fire runs. And our responsibilities and roles, they change uh, on every scene. Well, one of the things is we're very versatile when it comes to the fire ground operations. We, uh, depending on when we arrive, we can actually go in with the engine crew and take the second line and go knock down a fire with them. Uh, or if we get there a little bit later with the truck crew, we can actually get up on the roof with them and help them ventilate. Or we can stay outside and act as a RIT team, rapid intervention team. And if someone goes down inside, we have all the tools and necessary pieces of equipment to go in and rescue a downed firefighter uh, from inside the dwelling.